Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Alicia Dragoon. Alright, we're on to stage 6, and from what I heard, it's actually the hardest level in the game. So we'll see how well this goes for us. And I, as you can see, there's definitely a lot going on. When it comes to, like, this entire military base. Oh, wow. Apparently those uh, missiles have splash damage, who knew? So yeah, everything is just at an angle. Which is gonna make navigating this level pretty tricky. Especially with these enemies that when they die, they blow up in an X pattern. So even if you kill them, you're, you're not necessarily safe. Alright, let me try the... The burb. Just get rid of some enemies, at least. Oh, did I just pick up an upgrade to my weaponry? Apparently you can go to level 7. Huh. I don't know what the highest is then. So I guess the, the burp is good sometimes. Unless you're trying to deal with missiles. Whatever this white thing is. I don't even know what it does. Does that have something to do with your companions? I'm not sure. Either way, it looks like I went in the wrong direction. Whoa! Thought that was gonna get me. So I need to go up this way and then make my way to the right, I guess. It's gonna be way too easy to take. And it's a copious amount of damage. So I'm really gonna have to take my time with- uh-oh. Okay, the, the burb got hit, unfortunately. Wait. Did this just send me all the way back where I was? Oh my god, I have to redo all this. All because I made that stupid drop. I think it was, uh... Down here and to the right? Yeah, I think this is it. Wow! I didn't think the splash damage would go that far. There you go. Eat up. You could use the goods. There's lots of power-ups in here, so that's a good thing. Okay, there we go. I mean, if you destroy that thing, you can just duck right under its carcass. And even then, you just gotta hope you don't actually land on top of an enemy. Which I'm apt to do. I'll admit that much. Are you for real? Are you really just gonna keep doing this kind of stuff? I don't think I should jump that way, because that's gonna take me backwards again. Oh. What do you mean I can't get over there? Am I actually gonna have to fall? But it's just sitting back here. Oh wait, this is different. Ooh, that's a lot of health. And there's some health for you too. God, this place is so disorienting. And we're not even done yet. Oh, now the music's way more intense. Great. New enemies have appeared. And now they just teleport! So yep, yeah, we're gonna have to deal with enemies that can possibly land on top of you! And there's nothing you can do about it. And what looks like blue raspberries. Just a bunch of wisps. Like, come on! How is that even fair? Like, we're in a tight corridor. There's nowhere I can go. <laughs> what, boss time already? Uh, I think I might want to switch the dragon for this one. When in doubt, derg. 
Oh, guys, they got... He's got guns. And, you know, this is very hard on the eyes. Oh, great. Sometimes he can just go right on top of you, too. Like, what do you do then? Like, you just take contact damage. That's it. You have no other recourse. There is. Ever. Oh, God. The guns keep coming back. It's always a damn guns with this boss fight. He always needs to go around in a circle, too. So at least that pattern is consistent. So you can actually avoid the contact. I guess he attacks you himself with projectiles, but he barely uses them. Well, he used it there. Oh, wait, did I win? I, I did win! <laughs> Barely, though. Oh, thank God it stopped. That was really hurting my eyes. Wait, we're not done? Thanks for giving me the health after the boss fight. Oh, better switch to you. Because the dragon's, you know, a little worse for wear. Are you kidding me? I can still die doing this. Exit! <laughs> How convenient you actually marked it exit. Not so convenient that I had to rotate my neck to read it. Okay, my uh, sprite's looking a little cheeky there. There's the antagonist base. Which I looked up the story because there's not much of it here. Um, apparently the main antagonist's name is Baldor. Which very similar to Baldur, like Baldur's Gate. So hopefully we can stop him before he wakes up from that cocoon. Let's go with the fireball. Oh god, slime. Ow. It was going so well dodging all those attacks at the time. Why the hell is this still going? Wow. Put a lot of endurance on that slime enemy. Like, my attack bar is at 7. Why did it take so long? Or maybe it's only the lightning flash that does the obscene amounts of damage. I just want to check over here for any power-ups. Oh good, there is one. Is this all they have here? Seriously? Is there no other enemy variety at all? Like a little bit wouldn't hurt. Real talk. Yeah, it seems to be the flash that does them in. Unfortunately, the uh, Thunderbird has like the longest charge time for attacks. So you can't really take advantage of it here that much. I wonder if the dragon would actually would do better. Actually the dragon does do better. I should have switched that earlier. Alright, where are we going? Oh! New enemies? I never thought such a thing would happen. Aha! 
Now I got a level 8 weaponry. Now y'all can eat it. Wait a minute, where the hell are we going then? Am I gonna need to find a fairy to get up here? Maybe I can only find it if I kill all the enemies. It's telling me to go up. How? How do I go up? There's nothing that makes me go up. Um... Did a passageway open up somewhere and I didn't see where? Oh, you have to shoot it. I would have thought of doing that. Boss time already? Okay, Dragon may not do well in this fight. Let's try Lizard. Just another Wizard. Whoever this Baldor is really loves his Wizards. And look, it's... It's actually the same boss. When it splits up, it just becomes those guys with the guns again. Ow. So really, you just take out the clones to make sure that, you know, you don't get shot at from all sides. I had to switch. You're not doing too hot. Ah, I thought getting under him would make it easier to dodge the projectiles. I guess not. Oh, maybe you need to jump first. So you can redirect some of the attacks. Oh great, now the dragon's in trouble. Uh, let's try the fireball. Why well, do I have a feeling it's just gonna have to be me doing the offense? Yeah, I think so. The honest truth, this boss is not hard. It's just very repetitive. It's only doing the same two attacks over and over. That's it. I can't even tell if I'm damaging the boss. Because there's not many cues that tells you that you are. You just have to rely on, you know, if I keep zapping it, maybe something will change. Nope, still nothing. Oh my god. This is nuts! How is it still going? Ah, shoot. I deviated from my plan. Finally! Took you long enough. Are we gonna reach the top of this castle? What the hell? I guess we're not finished yet. <laughs> oh, I, sh I should have just switched. Yeah, you needed the health badly, Durg. Now there's just triangles. And just random guns? What on earth? Uh oh. This is not what I had in mind. Oh yeah, you're not doing too hot again. 
Um, what? Well, that kind of sucked. I'm sitting all the way back here. I guess I stayed too long on a platform. At least I don't have to fight the boss again. Imagine if they did that. That would have been such a trash tier move. If the game just went and said, Well, you're already back here. Guess we'll just have you fight the boss again. Sorry. Your fault for taking too long. I'm just gonna brute force my way to some of these platforms. Are you? Oh my god. Not only did I not get the balloon popped, I still have to climb all the way back up again. This is ridiculous. Do these guys just keep coming back no matter what, even after you kill them? I'm not gonna stick around and find out. Oh, okay, at least I landed over here. I didn't lose any progress. I just have to jump on the correct triangles. What? That was not the correct one? I honestly think it's the repetition that's gonna kill me. Not the enemies. Oh right, there was a triangle over here. Fuck. I'll probably get hit by every single enemy on the way down from the explosions. Oh my god. How the hell am I supposed to see it if it just drops me before I can see the triangle? That's not fair. Oh my god. Okay, I actually landed on it, but I might die! I think I did it. Oh my god, with that much health, I made it to the end of the stage. Jesus H. Christ, that was miserable. Alright, stage 8. Oh, it's this again. It's a bit hard-boiled, don't you think? So, Alicia, you have survived this long against our loyal army and reached our palace in the sky. Unfortunately, you have arrived too late. Our leader has begun to awake from his long sleep. Once again, we have brought him to life in this world. Your life will make an excellent sacrifice to our leader when he awakes. Oh, here we go. Now we gotta take on the right hand of Baldor. Guess I have the duck under his attack just in case. Oh! Well, I fired it three times there. Okay, so I can't just ignore him that way. Damn it! So far I got hit by that attack every single time. So sometimes he might fire it three times. Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't dodge it a single time now! Oh, now what? Okay. 
But I think I'm getting pretty close if it did that attack. Like, it knows when I'm gonna jump, so what am I supposed to do? And now my dragon's dead. Alright, we'll try the lizard. Did I get him? Is he finally down? He's dead. Yeah, usually cremation means dead. <laughs> Oh, but I lost so much health to that wizard. Alright, final boss! Let's do this! Although I'm not feeling... I'm not feeling good about my chances! Especially with, with that kind of attack. Okay, so it's got a gun. Throws fireballs. A snake! And God knows what else. Okay, that's good and all, but now I need to get to the other side. But you know, he kind of needs to get over there. Wait. Is he stuck? I'm pretty sure I have to hit, like, both mounds of flesh. And I can't really do that if he's over somewhere he can't get hit. Oh, now he switches. Oh, contact damage. That's bullshit. Oh boy. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I have one continue left. Oh, that's gonna be fun. I bet I have to refight that boss again, the first one. Yep, I do. Alright, just give me a sec. I, I'm gonna get you back to the main boss. Alright, I made it back to Baldor again, and the good news about this is that if you use a continue, you do retain all your progress from before. So let's see how this goes. So far I got hit by more snakes, so I might be doing worse on this phase. That's not a good sign. Alright, I guess I can just let the snakes go right over me. Now? Oh, oh, the bird got hit. Well, at least he took it for me. It's actually two hits it took for me. Holy crap. Keep hanging in there, bird. You're getting me out of a jam. I still haven't reached the final phase. Okay, now we have. Alright, I think I'm gonna switch to Dragon for this. I'm gonna watch those fireballs a lot better. That's what got me owned last time. Okay, that time I couldn't even see it because there was too much going on at once. Like that, see? You gotta dodge, like, the, uh, needle projectiles. As well as, like, the bigger fireballs. Okay, that's not fair.
At least that attack is always easy to avoid. Maybe I should move more to the right to avoid that dive. Like that, see? Okay, I think I got the hang of it. But my allies are definitely looking a bit rough. Did I win? It's over. Baldor is finally dead. I don't want my allies around while I celebrate. It's all me. I hope I got out of there, did I? I could just use the same platform I got in. No, nope, I, I, I guess I just go. Oh, no, I'm just gonna fall and land on my head and break my neck. Or you just direct me like, no. Land on your head somewhere safer. Oh, I'm riding the dragon. Why couldn't I do that at all in the game? But anyway, that's it. That's Alicia Dragoon for the Sega Genesis. For a game I've never really played before until now, it actually didn't go as bad as I thought. Like, I thought I would just be losing a hell of a lot more, because this is not a game I played before, and I find that most of the times enemies creep up out of nowhere and just hit you for no reason. Like, well, you know, no recourse to get away from it. But it wasn't too awful. I do like the style of, you know, going through all these, uh, these different areas. They're not very long. You do get seen a nice variety of enemies. You get to hear some pretty cool music. And having the choice of four allies, or four companions, gives you a little bit of value, like, do you have a preference? So you can approach it different ways, which I do like. <coughs> and not to mention, this, this game is actually really short, as you can tell. Like, the two episodes of this Let's Play might just barely make an hour. So yeah, if you if you do all right, you know, without game overing several times, like I almost did, um, you can finish it around that time. But if you do game over and have to go back to the beginning and play through it all, at least you can get a good understanding as where the hazards are going to be and uh, what you got to do to prepare for them. So it's tough, but fair. So I think it's actually a pretty good game. I would recommend this. Anyway, this is the Banga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I shall see you next time. Oh, there's my ranking. I made it all the way to area 12. <laughs> Thunder power level 8, shoot down rate 68%. <laughs> I give you the rank of Ogre Shaman. Oh, that's pretty cool that you actually get ranked for your, your uh, overall progress. Alright, well, I guess I'll see you guys later.